Hello everyone, and welcome back to the third episode of Engines of BC Rail. Before starting off, some of you may be confused of why this episode isn't the GEC 44-9WL. The reason for that is because I couldn't find a lot of information, and I estimated that the video length would be way shorter than usual. It will be held back for another, another time. I'm sorry. Anyways, moving on to today's topic, the EMD and GMD SD40-2. The EMD SD40-2 is a 3000 horsepower C-C diesel electric locomotive built by EMD from 1972 to 1989. The SD40-2 was introduced in January 1972 as part of EMD's-2 series, competing against the GE U30C and the Alco Century 630. Although higher horsepower locomotives were available, including EMD's own SD45-2, the reliability and versatility of the 3000 horsepower SD40-2 made it one of the best selling models in EMD's history, edged only by the GP9 and the standard of the industry for several decades after its introduction. The SD40-2 was the improvement over the SD40 with modular electronic control systems similar to those of the experimental ZDA-40X. Peak production of the SD40-2 was in the mid-1970s. Sales of the SD40-2 began to diminish after 1981 due to the oil crisis, increased competition from GE's Dash 7 series, and the introduction of the EMD SD15, which was available concurrently to late SD40-2 production. The last SD40-2 delivered to a United States Railroad was built in 1984, with productions continuing for railroads in Canada until 1988, Mexico until February 1986, and Brazil until October 1989. The SD40-2 has been in service in Canada, Mexico, Brazil, and Guinea. To suit export, to suit export country specifications, General Motors designed the JT26CW-SS, uh, otherwise known as the British Rail Class 59 for Great Britain, the G26CW-2 for Yugoslavia, South Korea, Iran, Morocco, Peru, and Pakistan, while the GT26CU-2 went to Zimbabwe and Brazil. Various customizations led Algeria to receive their version of a SD40-2 known as a GT26HCW-2. Some railways that own the SD40-2 are CP, CN, BNSF, Union Pacific, Sioux Line, and BC Rail. However, that is just to name a very few. Now, let's talk about its origin, performance, and its perimeter. The construction of the SD40-2 was led by the Electromotive Division, uh, otherwise known as EMD, and General Motors Diesel, otherwise known as GMD. Its perimeter is 68 feet 10 inches in length, a width of 10 feet 3 inches, and a height of 15 feet and 7 and 1 8 inches. It had a V16 diesel engine. Its prime mover was a EMD 16-645 E3. Its fuel capacity was a was 3,000 to 4,000 US gallons. The SD40-2 horns were different, but BC Rail had one in particular for every unit, and that is the Nathan K5H. Here is an example. There are many other locomotives that EMD made based off the SD40-2. Those are the SD40-2W, uh, the SD40-2Q, and many more. Well, I think that that is all to cover for today's episode of Engines of BC Rail. Let me know what unit I should do next. I am planning to do the Bud RDCs next, but if I get some comments saying what I should do next, I'll think about your guys' requests. Anyways, I will see you all next week for the next episode of Engines of BC Rail.